All right, so this tutorial is going to be on code.org CS Discoveries Unit 2, Lesson 17, CSS Classes. So a CSS class is an identifier that allows multiple elements in an HTML document to be styled in the same way. So in the past, we've used uh, CSS selectors to style maybe all of your H1 headings a certain way, or to style all of your paragraphs a certain way, or to style all of your images a certain way. With a CSS class, we can uh, style our H1. Maybe we can have an H1 and a paragraph with the same style. Um, so let's let's go ahead and get started. Here's an example web page here. We've got this first set here is styled with a specific color. The next set has another color and the next one has another color. So even though these are all maybe H1s here, they're all different colors. It's just an example of what we'll be able to do with CSS classes. Okay, so as we can see here, this page uses um, smaller images here at the top and larger images throughout the page. Okay, so the way they're doing that is with CSS rules. So what we're going to do is find the CSS rule set in styles.css that makes the images at the top smaller. So we notice we've got some rules for body. That's what we've seen before. But now we've got this dot top dash img and then we've got a dot main dot img so the way we can tell our difference between just a normal css selector and a css class is you'll have a, this period or this dot right before it and it'll be something that you can create the name of okay this could be called something else but this is what the user has called it dot top dash image top dash img so what we can do now is add a rule to one of these classes and see if it only affects the images in that class. So let's maybe let's say border dash color blue. And we need to put a width too. Border dash width uh, five pixels and border style dash style solid. Okay. So now we've got this dot top dash image and we see this border that I've created. Okay. And then we see the normal images and those do not have borders. So we've a specific class called top dash IMG is going to have these rules. So if we look over in the main file, we see an image tag here. In this image tag, we see a normal IMG like always, but then we have class equals, and then in quotes, top dash IMG. So what that's doing is it, that's creating uh, a class for this image called top dash IMG. And as we remember in style.css, we've got this top dot IMG. It's got to have a period before it when you're on the CSS sheet not when you're on the regular HTML. So on the regular HTML, it's going to be in quotes. But if we go back over here, it's going to have just a period before it. OK, so now this new rule, these new rules will apply to anything with a class named top-img. So we've got, looks like another image here. This one also has a class of top-img. So anytime we have this class equals top dash img, it's going to take those rules from our top dot top dash img uh, rule set. So one important thing to remember is when you decide to add your classes, it's just going to go inside of the opening tag. So we've got img space, and then right after that, class equals, and then in quotes the class name. If we were to have the same class for maybe the paragraph, we would want to. If we want to make a class for a paragraph, we put P and NBC inside of the opening tag only. Then you can say class equals, and if I gave it the same one, I'm going to, it would make sense to give it a different one. But if we give it the same one, it's going to pull whatever rules we had in this top dash IMG rule set, and it'll put it on that as well. But let's, let's go ahead and take that out. But I just wanted to show you where 
we can add a class. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this one and move to the next section. So for this one, we want to find out how the sanguine class works. So let's see if we can find sanguine in one of these tags. Oh, here we go. IMG class equals sanguine. H2 class equals sanguine. P class equals sanguine. So notice we're using the same class name for three different types of elements. We've got an image element, an H2 element, and a paragraph element. And if we look over in style at CSS, we can scroll down to dot sanguine, which is, you know, it's a class because it has a dot before it. And these are the rules that are applied to anything in the sanguine class. All right, so now what they want us to do is to add a new class for one of the other humors. Okay, how about melancholic? Let's add a class for this one. So we're going to go over to the index and find melancholic. And we're going to start with the H2. Put a space after the H2. Class equals melancholic. Okay, and then I'm just going to copy this part so I don't have to keep typing in. And the H2 and the paragraph, let's put a space, has that. And anything else in the melancholic that needs it? I think that was it. What did it have on here? Image, the H2, and the paragraph. So image, H2, and paragraph. Okay, so image will do the same. So before the source on the image, we're going to put the class as well. And then we just need to create a rule set in style.css for this class, melancholic, for the melancholic class. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to say dot melancholic. And then we're going to do the curly braces. So what kind of rules do we want to have for this one? Let's maybe do a border, solid. Oh, we can do this. Ah, nice. And let's change the color. Blue. And we have a text color. So we'll color blue font family. I'm just going to have just similar rules to this. Maybe this one will do fantasy. So let's refresh and save and have a look. Okay, so we've got different rules there. All right, so these are rule sets for our melancholic class. Okay, so let's try a couple things here. First of all, they want us to create a class for our favorite month, so it looks different from the others. So, that June's a great month for teachers and students, so let's choose that one. So, we're, let's give our class June, say class, and remember it's inside of the first tag, equals June. We're just going to call it June, and then same thing with the paragraph, class equals June. Make sure you have it in quotes, and then, um, it's good enough for that. Let's go ahead and come over here. And then when we write our class rules, we have to have a dot before the name of the class. June. And then let's say color hot pink. Sounds it's like a hot color kind of for the summer. All right. And let's go mm, font family. Mono space, I'm just picking one. And border solid five five picks. There we go. So I've created some rules for our June class. Alright, let's go to the debug classes. So we've got separate classes for each season. Autumn class is not working. So let's first of all find autumn. Where is autumn? Autumn is the last one on here. So let's look down here. Class equals autumn. All right. So it's giving autumn classes to all these. OK. So let's figure out if we can see what's going on here with this style. 
Autumn. Do we have an autumn class? A U T U. Oh, somebody misspelled autumn. It's a hard one. M N is where the ending of autumn needs to be. And it looks like that fixed the problem. Okay, perfect. So that's it. We just misspelled autumn in the CSS sheet. Okay, so we've got just a couple more here. This page has different haikus. Choose one haiku and give it a special look by creating a class for its paragraph and heading tags. So which haiku do we want to change? How about this eat one? So let's find the eat haiku and let's give it a class. Class equals, let's just call it food. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have a class on the paragraph because I'm going to have the paragraph have the same uh, qualities as the H3 as far as the rules I'm going to give it. And then we'll have an image. So how, does, how long does the food go? All the way down to this one here. So maybe the image can take the class too. Class equals food. And then we'll do this last one. Class equals food. Okay, so maybe I want it to look a little bit different. So I'm going to actually give this food class a background. So I'm going to, I've got a lot of different rules here. So I'm going to scroll on the bottom and say dot food because food, uh, sorry, your classes always need to have a period before the name and your CSS file only. So let's give it a background color on this one. Background color. Um, I'm going to pick this one. And then we're going to say color, and I'm just picking, no, not that one again. Color, we'll pick something else. Antique white, I'm just choosing different stuff. And let's say border, solid, three pixels. All right, let's refresh and save this and see what it looks like. Wow. very ugly but we know how to use it and that's the important part okay so let's go ahead and hit finish and we'll move to the last exercise here and we've got a couple more we've got individual IDs okay so we've got an ID of notes and this just uh, lets us change only one specific instance of an element. So we can just change only this image here. So let's turn our inspector on. So image. Where's our notes? Okay, right here. So this one here, uh, it's got a special look to it. Maybe the, the other images don't have. You see how this doesn't have anything. This image has a curved border that one does too but let's look and see what is different about this one so notes is floating to the right and width is 100 pixels it's got a box shadow of six by six so if you see there's a little shadow on that picture on the bottom right here so it's got a special rule just for that one so if you want a rule just for one specific thing and have it not apply to other uh, other elements then you can write a ID and the ID is going to use a hashtag or a pound sign instead of a dot like the classes we're using. So let's give another Im let's add another image at the end and give it our own style. So if we go to index.html and we're going to add one more image before this body is over IMG source equals and then I'm not sure what we haven't used here so I'm just going to grab this one okay extra notes let's go back here extra notes three we're going to choose that and then we have to have to say it's uh, ID ID equals and I'm just say en for extra notes and we'll give it alt text alt equals extra notes Okay, now I've just come into style.css and I've written this for my ID and given it a border of 10 pixels and solid. 